Each child should be assigned a reimbursement rate in Minimenu. In some agencies, when determining the child's FRP status, at least two people look at the income forms as an internal edit check. Or, we suggest using Minimenu for that edit check. By entering the household income directly in Minimenu, an internal control has been created, one that helps ensure a correct FRP determination. To use the IEF calculator, you must have already enrolled the child into Minimenu. Pull the child up by clicking on the Children button. You may have to filter this list by pending children. Go to the Oversight tab. If you already know the child's reimbursement rate, you could just enter it here. But if you want to use Minute Menu as an additional edit check and internal control, you can use the IEF calculator at the bottom of the screen. If the child has a sibling that has already been assigned a reimbursement rate, you can use the same IEF application to copy to the sibling's reimbursement rate. Siblings will be listed in the siblings children with same parents box. Select the correct application date from the drop-down box. Then click the Evaluate and Save button. The child's file will be updated. To add a new IEF application, click the Add New button. Add the signature date. This could be the date the parent signed the form or the signature date of the determining official, depending on your state and agency policies. If the child is categorically eligible by one or more programs, you can enter that information here. Then click the Evaluate and Save button, and you're done! If the parent's income is being used, You'll type each family member's name and information in the household member box. Enter the signer's name and social security number. If the social security is not given, you can choose the no social security number or incomplete box. To save this information, you must click the Evaluate and Save button. Everything done in the IEF calculator must be saved by using the Evaluate and Save button rather than the regular Save button at the bottom. The program will assign the new reimbursement rate in the Reimbursement Level field, or give you a warning message if it disagrees with what was previously entered there. For more information about this tool, please click the Help button. There are a few reports that will be helpful for you to run on a regular basis. For example, go to Reports, Children, Verify FRP consistent within family report. This report will allow you to make sure that children in the same family have the same reimbursement rate. There are multiple more reports in Minute Menu that you will find useful. Feel free to run any report and see just how useful the information on it can be. You can never hurt anything by running a report, so if the name sounds relevant, go ahead and run it.